Yeah, this week I want to talk about um, four interesting stocks where we all had positioned this week's, um, for example, here, Bit Digital, what was like almost um, going up every day 20% for the last two days. We had, I think, one of the most common um, stocks in the last day, especially after they announced their earnings last week, is the um, AMD and uh, all analysts also raised their price targets what was maybe one of the main impacts uh, why amd um, had such a great breakout in the last days but also we had a position um, in square incorporation i think square operation especially with the news on monday about the um, about um, the acquisition of um, afterpay australian inst installment uh, payment leader um, SQ is really interesting also from chart analysis um, related to the breakout um, to a new all-time high. And the last stock was reporting earnings just two days ago um, is uh, MGM Resort, um, stock from Casino and Resort um, Environment. What, um, yeah, uh, reported to Quite good numbers, um, but I want. Oh, let's start with this um, stock because, um, especially here, when we see it in our weekly um, history, we um, can see then um, after the Corona crisis, um, where we had here this um, huge down movement, MGM really recovered well, and um, earnings also showed that uh, the numbers are not so bad. Um, most of their profits stay on 90%. I think they make in um, the US. Um, as China, especially Macau, is still um, closed for most of the people. Um, these revenues, they are dropped significant. Um, we expected, especially when we go a little bit back on our daily chart, um, different um, movement after the earnings. We saw here a lot of um, put positions in the last few weeks, um, but so far i think um, there's a really good possibility that the um there's new a new uptrend um after the movement yesterday um after the earnings were reported so mgm may be a good investment for um long term if you want to have a call position or a long position then we have amd um, amd um, reported earnings last week. You can see this here a little bit better in our um, daily chart. Since they reported the earnings uh, by the end of July, it was here the 27th of Ju July. We had almost every day new all-time highs, um, new um, yearly highs, um, especially with all the news and new price targets, um, like I said, and also that AMD announced uh, that um, the new MacBook Pro you can um, have the new AMD chip um, there, what also um, is a good sign for all analysts um, and for the future of AMD. In general, the semiconductor um, are all running quite good, it's not only AMD. Um, I think for a short period of time, especially after the last five, six, day, six days, there might be a, a small um, pullback, what people can also use for or maybe a new investment because it was too far and too fast in a short period of time. Um, so I don't think the the um, movement will continue in the same way um, like it did in the last um, five, six days. Um, but then there's a good chance, I think, on the long term to uh, um, catch maybe a good entry price here for AMD. And like I already said in the beginning, all these um, trades, you can also follow them um, live here on Collective 2. All our um, information you will find on the link um, for this uh, strategy you will find below. Here you can see our last trades with AMD, also with the other um, mentioned um, symbols like Square or what I said, MGM where we had a position with the digital. So all four stocks we are talking today about, um, we had positions in it. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and have a look in um, Collective 2. You find a link in the description and you can also simulate these uh, strategy for free or even auto trade it with 
um, a different brokers um, where you just um, follow automatically all entries and exit. Yeah, next to AMD, like I said, one, I would say, very volatile um, stock. It's, um, of course, related also to movements in cryptocurrencies. One of the big mining companies uh, from the US or the headquarters in New York. Um, you can see here the movement for the last three weeks from $5 almost up to $20. Yesterday and the day before yesterday, we had um, almost 20% in one day. We can um, see the same, um, almost the same um, at the end of um, last year. And um, what I think is also quite clear um, that after such a big and fast um, up movement, it's the same what we had in January, um, the stock will continue, I think, being um, volatile. What is here now also something what pushes this um, stock? We have a lot of option volume, especially on the call side. Um, so I'm quite curious how far it can go in the next week. If you can maybe even see the same price levels uh, like what we had by the end of last year. And a perfect, uh, really a perfect stock to uh, make some fast profits, um, especially here in option trading um, with option trading strategies. And the last symbol for the day, what we showed you also in the beginning is Square. I think most of you might hear the news from uh, Monday that um, um, yeah, shares of Square jumped 10% after the FinTech um, company acquired the Australian installment payment leader Afterpay. Um, what is super interesting here is um, it's set up here on a daily chart because after this is here, make it a little bit bigger for you. This was the um, candle for Monday. So on Monday, they said definitely there will be a breakout and a new all time high. What we saw yesterday, um, new all time high, um, where it went above the last um, highest price here from middle of February. Um, but you can already see what happened today. Um, the breakout didn't continue. It went down again under $280. Um, of course, analysts also had quite positive um, feedback or comments about the um, um, yeah, about the deal with um, Afterpay. But so far, uh, we will not see something like what we had at AMD. Um, I really thought, especially after yesterday, maybe there will be um, a bigger breakout with continuing up movements. Um, but so far, I think it will take a little bit. Um, maybe you will see it in a different way, um, what makes it maybe also um, a little bit more, um, let's say, organic. Um, not like an AMD, it was, um, like I said in the beginning, too fast um, and too high so that there's almost uh, always a, um, a bigger correction coming up. And um, I'm quite curious if Square can um, continue to break out what almost happened yesterday then next week. So quite interesting to stay here um, and to have a look in the next week on these um, four stocks. And if you don't want to miss any of our videos or even any of our trades, have a look at Collective 2, subscribe to our channel. I would be happy to welcome you next week again.